Neiman Steel area or an S main should be provided to control the thermal and shrinkage cracking. This cracking should be avoided because it will lead to penetration of moist into the concrete and lead to corrosion of reinforcement bar. Whenever the minimum area is provided, the yield of reinforcement bar should not occur and the cracks are expected to be distributed along the member with a greater number of cracks but with a smaller crack width. This shows us how we get the minimum area of reinforcement. For beam and slabs, these two equations are referred. The equation is obtained from clause 9.2.1.1 as is given here, but not less than 0 0.13 BDT. BT means the width of the mean width of the tension zone and FCTM refers to the mean value of tensile axial tensile strain of the concrete. You can obtain FCTN from table 3.1 in Eurocode, which is this table. FCTM is given by this row. At the end of the row, there are equations to show you how do you obtain SCTN. As for the concrete strength less than 50, these equations can be used. You need to check also the AS mean against this ratio. The ratio varies according to the grade of concrete. As for the slab, the secondary reinforcement bar should be at least greater than 20% of the main reinforcement bar. As for the column, this equation is applied. The AS minimum should be greater than this equation and also should also be greater than 0.2% of the cross sections of the column. As for the wall, the 0.2% of the cross section of the wall is applied. Alternatively, you may adopt this equation. This equation is obtained from Eurocode clause 7.3.2, which is here. However, for the complexity of the equations, we commonly we do not choose to use this as this one should be sufficient for us to determine the minimum area of reinforcement. For your information, this is the equations that we use for computing the minimum area of reinforcement. There are several factors there. The first factor is stress distribution coefficients. For a beam which is subjected to flexural load, Kc is 0 0.4. And the second K is the nonlinear stress distribution coefficients. It will be determined by the height of the web or the width of the flank for you to get the K either it is 1.0 or 0 0.65 as you can see here there is a gap between the two so whichever in the intermediate interpolations can be applied the tensile cracking strength of the concrete is assumed to be greater than 3 and for the it is also can be assumed F, as the FCTN for the twin concrete age more than 28 days or you can calculate the FCTN for the concrete strength which is immature 
according to the age of the concrete. As for AC, referring to the concrete area tensions just before the first crack occur. The difficulty is estimating the AC. That's why this equation is not popularly used for RC design, for the simplified RC design. Next, we deal with the maximum area of reinforcement. Under normal circumstances, 4% rule is applied. That means your reinforcement area should be at least should be less than 4% of the cross-sectional area of the member. As for the column, when you have lapping at the column joint, then you are allowed to have less than 8% of the reinforcement area.